Darius, uh, Shane was very open about saying that uh, they trusted you guys to put you on an island for Tennessee and just trust you to do it. What exactly was that conversation like? Did Shane address you guys? Was it all Torian or Clayton saying what you guys were going to have to do against Tennessee? Uh, it was all all three of them, actually, uh, that come up to us because uh, cause they have confidence in us and we have confidence in our own play to go out and execute our jobs. And that was one of our jobs is to – be out on the island. Uh, we wanted to stop their run game because they're very good in the run. We know they're explosive in the pass game. So for them to put that um, job on us, it was just a um, really mentality of like, let's just go do it. Like we're, we're corners for a reason. And that's what we do. We got to shut down the pass game. And that's what one thing we took from those guys. So uh, for them to give us that job and we just um, put it on our backs and just execute it. Darius, to that end, I mean, I know you guys are a confident group, but, like, what does it do for you guys as a unit and a defense to, to have the game that you guys did against a team like Tennessee and what that offense can do? I'm, I mean, I'm sure there's things that you guys want to take from it and improve, but when you guys are able to slow them down on a team like that, what does that do for you guys as a group? Um, so with Tennessee, uh, we already understood them. Um, they were a tempo team. you got to be able to handle tempo for one. And you just can't – you can't have any many mistakes. Um, so I'll say for, like, for instance, that first drive when – we don't miss, like we misfit a gap. You see where it leads to and it leads to a score. So um, it seems like that you just gotta, you gotta execute. You can't have too many mistakes with those guys. You gotta make sure you're aligned, assigned and detailed in everything you do. So with those guys, I mean, a great team, no doubt about it. I mean, they were in contention for the playoffs. So they're a great team and we just went out there and executed our jobs the best way we could. Darius, when Nick goes out with that targeting call pretty early in the game, just what was that moment like for you guys who were on the field, and how did you kind of reset after that to go on to have the game that you did? Next man up mentality. Uh, so Peyton Williams coming in, true freshman. I mean, prep him this whole week. I mean, he's been getting reps. So it's always a next man up mentality because you never know who's going down and what kind of situation. So for Peyton to come in, and do the job that he did. It just showed that he was prepared. And with uh, the week that we had last week, it was just great preparation for him. So for him to come in and do that, it was just tremendous for what he did, stepping up. Darius, you mentioned being on an island, and Clemson likes to run the ball too. And you might be in a similar situation this week. What have you seen from that group of receivers, and how eager are you to go out there and compete against some of those guys? They are a group, great group of receivers, honestly. Um, just seeing those guys and on film, great in the past game they can run as well it's just going to come down to defense being detailed and aligned and assigned and executing our job what's up man a couple questions on the rivalry uh what are your feelings on the carolina clemson rivalry what's it like to play in in a game like this and what are your feelings on on clemson i'll say i mean games like this i see it as like a like high school a state championship game you got one team from the upstate in this case we're the midlands so it's like a state championship game Who's gonna who's gonna win the state? And how I feel about Clemson? They're a great team. I mean, they're a top top ten team. Um, they're ten. They they got ten wins. It's a reason they're a good team. So uh, having an opportunity to play those guys, I mean, it's gonna be a great matchup. Uh, yeah, kind of going off of that. Just I guess when you got here as a player, I know you've been a part of a few of these games. Just like, was there anything? Uh, I guess experiencing it as a player that kind of surprised you about like the lead up to the game and just. I don't know, like, what's that atmosphere of playing in that type of game like? Uh, playing that type of game is, is special. I mean, like you said, it's a rivalry game. It's, a, it's one of those games that everybody looks at on their schedule. Um, I mean, we're to that point right now, but looking back three weeks ago, I was worried about what we got each week. And that's what I look at for this week as well, is what can we do this week to make ourselves better as a team and to go out there and execute our jobs. Um, like I stated before, I mean, it's a nameless, faceless opponent. You just got to understand what you can do as a person and as a team for us to go out there and execute our jobs on Saturdays. Darius, the last few weeks, um, Clemson's kind of ramped up DJ Uyangalele running the ball a lot. How much of a difference can that make for you guys to, pay, to have to pay attention to that? As I'll go, go back and say, uh, it's all about being detailed. Um, understanding our assignments and executing our jobs. So, DJ, he's a great passer and a runner. So, he's a great he's a great player. So, I mean, we're not gonna just 
a focus on just one thing. We got to focus on us as a team, honestly. So we got to focus on what we can do and how we can execute our jobs. Hey, Darius, what do you remember about the feeling in the locker room after the Clemson game last year? And how tough of a team are they when they're running the ball well? Uh, the feeling last year, I mean, we lost. It's, you don't you don't just go in the locker room happy about a loss. Uh, it was devastating. It was a devastating loss, honestly. Um, so, I mean, we was upset about it, of course. Uh, that's really it. And their run game, they got to like a keep stating. I mean, they're a great team. They're going to run the ball. They're going to throw the ball just like any other team in this in this league. Darius, this is kind of a weird thing in the history of this rivalry. You guys haven't played there in four years. I don't know, like, how many guys you even have that did anything significantly in the 2018 game. Is that a disadvantage that that – Playing on the field, not not standing on the sideline. Playing on the field is a whole new experience there for you guys. I mean, we went to Arkansas this year. I haven't been to Arkansas in a while. I mean, that game came out how it did. It was a loss, but it's not going to create a disadvantage. We had our mistakes in that game. Uh, came and we went to Kentucky. We haven't won in Kentucky in a long time. We went there as we execute our jobs. So it's not about when we play, where we play. It's all about how we do as a team. So. For us to go there, I mean, it's going to be a great experience. I mean, a great stadium. They got a new jumbotron. It's going to be electric for those guys. It's not about oh, it's going to be a disadvantage. It's all about how does South Carolina play? Is South Carolina going to go out there and execute their job, do what they got to do? Going back to the uh, preparation for last Saturday's game, and with the confidence that the coaches showed in the defense and also the offense going forward on fourth down. Uh, going into the game, what did that do just to uh, just bolster the overall confidence and belief that um, the coaches had in the team and that you could get the job done? Because uh, it was it's, it's that kind of game. I mean, I mean, you got the number five team coming in, coming in. Uh, they're a great team. It was more of a we believe in ourselves. We we believe in our offense. We believe in our defense. So it was more of a execution thing. Offense wanted to go for it. Hey, defense, we, we got their back. So it's a it's a have your back mentality that we had with those guys. If they went forward on fourth down and they didn't get it, it was put the ball down mentality for the defense. We get a stop and get the ball back to our offense, they could go down and score. If not, hey, we got your back. We'll put the ball down again. So it was more of a, a uh, an attack mentality So for our offense to go out there and go for it on fourth down. Because uh, whether they got it or not, we had their back as a defense no matter what. We saw on the broadcast you guys were using wristbands on defense, kind of something new to kind of slow down Tennessee's tempo. Were you more comfortable with that? And how do you think that impacted your performance, if at all, just getting the calls in quicker? Uh, like I keep saying, a tempo team like Tennessee, you just got to be able to line up. It wasn't wasn't affecting me or performance, nobody affecting on the team. I mean, as a secondary, we just got to line up and communicate uh, as quick as possible. And that's what we did. So no wristbands or anything will affect that. Just as important as the game plan for Clemson, what's your game plan for Thanksgiving? You got any special plans, any foods you're looking forward to? Oh, I'm looking forward to some apple pie with some ice cream. So that's my that's my biggest thing I'm looking forward to. <laughs> uh, also some turkey with some rice and gravy, macaroni. I think that's, that's going to be my first plate. I might go back for seconds, too. <laughs> I'll say I'm most thankful for is the opportunities. Uh, 20, 2022 has been a great year for me, honestly. Uh, not only just because of this season, but uh, I can see my growth from last year, honestly. Um, and my family, always grateful for those guys being supportive for me. Um, just anytime I need them, I can call them. They've helped me through a lot, whether it's uh, just calling to say hello or just to call my mom and say, uh, don't really know how to do something, can you help me out? So <laughs> I'm really thankful for, for like family and opportunities. And um, it's just been a blessing uh, this 2022 year for me.